Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I have a really cool package from Nail Addict and I was really excited to get these colors. They sent these to me for a review. That one's in Hottie Me. It's super, really, really nice uh, color of hot pink, which you can see just like I got a total pink trifecta when I ordered. Um, then I got this one called Electric Rose, another version of a really nice hot pink. And um, I don't think that's the one I used for the look today. Okay, yeah, this is the one I used for today. It's called Temptation and it is like a hot pale pink. It's really hard to like describe. Oh, and you can see some puckering happened. Um, I put a little too much of it. I put a thick gel coat on top of my nails so that I could soak these off, but it didn't work. This one's called The Best of Summer and I missed what the other one was called. The one right before that was called TGIF. And then this last one is called Cashmere. It's a really, really muted gray, very pretty for like matte looks and like painting and things like that. So this is the lineup of the polishes they sent me. I picked up, I picked out all six of these colors because I know I buy tons of colors, but I always gravitate towards the pinks. So what is the point? You know what I mean? So I just got tons of shades. That one is the TGIF. So we're gonna do some swatches. These are some new square tips also that I just picked up from, who did I get those from? It wasn't the Alcum tips. It was actually from Enel Couture. But um, I think these are actually the Alcum tips that I got. I just kind of wanted to test them to like see what they look like. Everybody right now, like square nail tips are so hot right now, you guys. And I'm trying, like I bought the tips. Not only did I get some E-Nail Couture tips, but I also got the, the Alcum brand, the soft gel that I usually have linked for you guys. But it has been so long since I have worn a square tip. So, my initial thoughts about this gel polish were that it was pretty thick. I mean, you can see, um, I'm trying to get as thin of a coat as possible. Also, I was nervous because I was filming. This is my first, <laughs> first gel nail polish swatch. And I didn't rub the tips down with alcohol really good. So they had probably de debris on them or something like that. You know what I mean? But I love this muted rose color this TGIF, it's so pretty. It would make a great background for like an antique rose design or something like that. Or um, marbling, you could mix it with some of the white or the gray and do a really cool marbled look. Like I have practiced a bunch with trying to do the marbling and I am still struggling with that look. So that's that color, which I wasn't unhappy or I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't unhappy with any of the colors that I got from Nail Addict, and I wasn't even aware of them as a brand. So when I went to their Instagram page, I was shook because they had a really good selection of colors. One of them was called, and I didn't even see this before I made my order, but one of them was called 70s Summer Fun Collection or something like that. And it had like this great orange color and this great green color, and I was just like, they were pretty cool. But anyways, so I've got all my tips set out. These are the Alcum Ballerina full cover soft gel tips. And I'm just like trying to keep them organized because I've already sized them out to my nails. I don't have my nail sizes memorized like some girls. Um, I'm probably on my way to having them memorized, but I don't exactly yet. Then there is this next color which is Hottie Me, and it's another excellent pink. I really just loved, yeah, I had like a little hair or something on there. I have a lot of dogs, but I really loved the pinks in this collection. Like I could probably do, what, 300 looks with just the pinks that we had here. And me swatching them with you guys was the first time I had swatched them at all. So it was a fun time. I was pretty excited. Casey was sitting over there in his chair and <laughs> watching me be a fool and like have my phone set up y'all this setup is so it's so fucked up 
So I've got my, you know those suction phone holders for like your car, right? So I have a full length mirror stacked up and hovered over what I'm doing with my hands, right? And then I have that suction cup phone, phone holder suction cupped to the mirror to hover it over my desk because my stupid, I've been waiting for the little phone arm thing that I ordered to come in and it hadn't come in yet. So we just had to make it work, ladies. You know what I'm talking about? Look at how beautiful that shade is. Isn't that gorgeous? That is perfect. It's perfect for like my skin tone. I think it would be perfect for a darker skin tone too. It's just such a universal, very, very pretty pink. And I like to get everything really laid out smoothly. So you see like that muted um, color right next to it. And then you have Hottie Me, really, really cute. And then this one was Electric Rose, another really great color. Um, anyways, so these square tips, I'm just like, y'all, it's given me like visceral emotions because I wore square tip, square. I wore the square. I wore square tips in high school. So I graduated in 2003. So, I mean, that was a long time ago, y'all. It's hard, it's hard to go back, but I'm already wearing the biker shorts, which I fought. I, they're probably not even in style anymore. Like that's how freaking long I waited to do it. And I'm wearing scrunchies again and all that shit. I guess I'm just susceptible to social pressure, just like everybody else, but I don't know, Femi Beauty has been rocking the square tips, I don't know, for a while now. And I don't catch every video that she does, but I catch most of them. And um, I just love the look. I'm sure she could wear, uh, you know, whatever on the tips of her nails. And I'd be like, oh my God, I gotta try it because I just dig the aesthetic. I dig all of it, you know, I'm a big fan. So that one is the Electric Rose, super duper pretty. And then this one is the color Temptation. And it was definitely my favorite, obviously, when um, I chose which color to use for my look. I wanted to use multiple colors, but I don't know what happened. I just really loved um, this color in particular and I didn't, I didn't wanna mixy matchy or anything. So maybe on my next set that I do, I'll use the, um, the pink that we did right before Temptation, which was Electric Rose. It's also very pretty, but this one, the salmon baby pink, like oh, just so pretty. I really, really loved it. And I paired it with a lot of gold stuff that you'll see later on in this video. So the gel polish, just as a super honest review, it was, uh, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, those things are not foolproof and I'm a fool, but it, they were really thick. Now, most of my gel polishes are also thick, but I guess this is just coming from like a girl who used to use regular nail polish and has only been using gel polish for a couple of years. It always still kind of blows me away how thick it is. And you have to be really careful to not go too thick, you know, on your coats or it'll do that puckering thing, you know still working through it all. You know, I'm not a professional, definitely not a nail tech. Didn't say that at the beginning of the video, but not a nail tech, just a girl that hates paying uh, top dollar for shitty looking nails in this small town that I live in. So that's real talk. I'm just being honest. I'm sorry. I wanted to give the nail techs my money. I did for a long time. Okay. I really did. But once I started doing this, I started doing acrylics, but that was really hard, okay? And once Femi Beauty revolutionized the how, do you, how you can wear false nails game, uh, I haven't ever looked back. And you know, it would be really hard for me to go and pay 75, and then I'm a good tipper if I don't, if I do say so myself. And uh, you know, so I, I make it worth their while and I just don't really typically like the product that I leave with, so we just do these at home. You know, it's like my other hobby. If you didn't know, I also have another channel and it's dedicated to houseplants because I'm a houseplant collector, but this is definitely my other hobby, uh, playing with my nails and stuff like that. So that color was just like mesmerizing. I couldn't stop looking at it. It was so cute. Best of summer, best of summer. And this one was like a really pretty uh, fuchsia color. 
I think this would just be really good a standalone color, you know, just a straight up standalone color. I've been really thinking about, it's so crazy how two-sided my personality is because one half of my personality is like, I could just wear all these colors on one hand and you could totally do that. Like you could just wear one of each color on your fingers, you know? But I want to do all black nails a lot of times too. And it's just, you know, it's frightening to the family members and things like that. But I think that my next set is definitely gonna be black on black. So we're gonna do a, a severe 180 from where we're at now. But this was best of summer shade and we only have one shade left and that is the cashmere and it was a really it's a really pretty gray color i was hoping to get an all white color but this was the next best next best thing that they had available on their website and i really 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 loved the color um i dig colors just in general you guys know that i'm pretty big into colors but i really wanted something that um was a base color for matte uh, top coats so that I could do some nail art on top of it so that you could really see the nail art pop. I wanted the gray or the white, right? So that I could mix other gel polishes and kind of tone them down or bring them to a more pastel type of level. So with gel polishes, just like with nail polishes, you can go through and you can blend your gel polishes together, right? So if I had a really deep dark green and I wanted to add a little bit of white, or I guess you could potentially do this gray. Uh, it might not be too bad. And then mix them together, you could get like a more pale color. It's just really fun. It's just artwork. You can do basically whatever you want, which is, I love that for me, you know. Um, but I do love the gel polish. If you put a really thin coat on, just like you're supposed to, everything goes well, nothing puckers. Um, the color laid really, really nice. It's self self-leveled really nice um and i would definitely order again from nail addict i followed them on instagram if you'd like to follow them on instagram you can follow them i will have their links for their products like down below and also links for their instagram down below so if you guys like any of these colors you can go check them out i think that they're really really nice it's a really nice shade range especially if you're a pink mauve lover like me you can go over there and check those out so now we're going to get into the business of putting on some nail tips so a lot of the times i'll do decorations and inside where i'm putting this regular just a prey um what do they even call it gel hard gel um, I'm just filling it. It was it came with the appraise system and I'm taking these soft gel tips and just floating some product in there, putting some extra at the base, starting at the cuticle area, letting it fall until it, no air bubbles, right? Oh, mm, air bubbles, but I forgot to turn the thingy on. Push it down, make sure it's straight. Don't you dare put it on crooked because that is, you're fucked up if you put it on crooked. I don't even know what I was thinking there. Like, I think that nail did come out like mildly crooked. Now that I'm looking at it on my actual thumb right now, <laughs> it came out a little crooked. But you gotta be really careful on this part and make sure that you get that shit in there. Now, typically I use poly gel for this part, okay? And poly gel, and poly gel doesn't burn my nails like this stuff burned my nails. Now, I don't think it burned this thumbnail because I had that puckered like super thick layer of gel polish on there. And I was like, you know, it got a little warm, but I didn't notice it like burning the dog shit out of me. But on the next nails that I did, it for sure burned. Like I put it in, and like I said, I don't typically use this product in the gold um, bottle. Um, I do like it though, because it came out like crystal clear and it made it to where I could do uh, like a glass tip design on these nails. So I liked the Apre Gel for that reason. It was super easy to, you know, lay it in, just like if you were painting, but like a little bit thicker, uh, cause we were like wanting to increase the like integrity. Cause these gel tips are strong, but they're not strong enough, you know what I mean? So. And I've had these tips on for over a week now, but I'm very gentle with my hands. Um, 
if you're not very gentle with your hands, I would, ex I would recommend doing even more product into the tip to make them even stronger, but I try to be very gentle. So you can see I'm like loading the back end and that's where um, I'm gonna put it right, you know, right on top of the gel polish on my nail. So I'm propping it up like, <laughs> It's such kind of a pain in the butt. I did make a haul. I haven't um, released it yet, but I got one of the flash carrying lights. So you can see how I'm like holding it with one finger and then like, oh, you know what I mean? It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it, it works. You know what I mean? So, and plus I would rather be at home doing my own nails than be at a salon. And that's not saying anything about the salon. It's just, they have really strong smells in there. Um, I'm not good at small talk with strangers. So that really makes me have a lot of anxiety. Like anytime I go in anywhere, the doctor's office, the nail salon, it really doesn't matter. I have a lot of social anxiety. So just making, just knowing going in that I'm gonna have to make small talk is, it's like a lot of pressure. And I'm a grown ass woman, I get it. Like. If someone were to try to kick my ass, like I could fight you, but I don't wanna be in a social situation. Does that make sense? It sounds so stupid. Anyways, um, yeah, so I guess this hobby was kind of just like born out of me not liking to spend time in the nail salon, but also loving having long nails. And also I got on this really big kick of watching uh, Kirsty Meekin from Nao Nails and she was the first nail channel that I ever watched, which is why I did acrylics first because back in the day, I mean, everybody was using acrylics. I mean, very few people were using like hard gel that I was aware of. Okay, always that I'm aware of when I'm speaking because clearly, you know, more people know about it than that. But, you know, it just wasn't super popular. So I'm, and, and like the whole house would be really tinky when I would do acrylics and, the kids would be, you know, complaining. Even if I did it like in my bedroom, like the, the smell of the monomer would creep out like through my bedroom, all the way through the living room, like into the kitchen even, you know? And I would feel like, and I'm such a, I don't like to inconvenience others at all, that it was almost too much for me, you know? Like I was opening windows and setting up box fans and I was like hating the fact that anybody could smell it, you know? and blah 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 so this new method um, this is actually the first time I've just straight up dropped the apre uh, gel like into the tip without doing any kind of decorations or anything I wanted it all to be about the gel polish on top uh, you know the nail addict excuse me <laughs> the nail addict gel polish on top I wanted it to all be about that so I wanted to make them as crystal clear as I could and also this makes it really easy for me to do an infill because there is no design um, that I'm relying on that's in the actual nail. I'm not trying to recreate that design in the cuticle area, you know, to like, keep it going. This is just like when I go to fill these, I'm going to file them down and then I'm going to use the same gel that I'm using in this, this polish bottle and I'm going to fill in my cuticle area and cure it. and boom, bang, Bob's your uncle, like there's your nail, you know, like even for an infill. Now I will have to go through the work of like putting the gel polish on and creating a new design and stuff like that, but I don't really mind doing stuff like that. So I'm excited for the ease of the infill with these nails in particular, but I'm also excited because I have so many glitters to show you guys, legit. I already filmed a haul I told you about where I got the UV flashlight and I got some other glitters and some other glitters came in the mail today. And I got a cute shirt that I wanna show you guys. Oh, and I made a Fashion Nova order um, and it's not like my alter ego did not order it this time. It was me ordering it this time. So I got some really cute shit and I'm excited to show you guys, but you can see the ease of like putting these together. Like I don't have to build the nail. Um, I'm not fussy about the, the end shape of like, like I like the shape of these tips. So there's not like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't always go perfect, ladies. Yeah, I dropped it. Um, yeah, but I'm happy with the shape of these nails. So I don't end up doing like a ton of filing once they're cured on. So it's such a 180 from like, I'm telling you guys, I have spent 
11 hours before, completely ADHD, OCD, manic energy on sets of nails in the past before with acrylic and filing and learning how to use an e-file and like cutting the shit out of myself and um, you know, like putting divots into my nails because I don't know what I'm doing. Like I've done it all, girl. Like I put myself <laughs> through nail school <laughs> at home on my own hand, which I would not recommend. Also, um, I noticed I was getting already like lint and particles and things like that underneath the nail and it was so crystal clear. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I should just top coat the bottoms right away. Uh, so I wiped off the sticky layer, which I didn't do that on camera because I'm having a really hard time keeping my hand where it's supposed to be. That is such a pain in the dick. I'm so, I admire so much all these other nail channels that can keep their hands far away from their faces while they're trying to do stuff. Respect, put some respect on it. You know what I mean? Because where it, where it deserves to go. It's very hard to do. But I wiped this shit off and then I put this top coat under here and I don't know, you know, maybe I should have done this at a different time. I don't know. My brain was thinking, well, we better preserve this right now. If you guys know more about doing nails, I don't know what you're doing here. Number one, I don't know why you're here. <laughs> but if you guys know more about doing nails than I do, um, was this a bad choice of like timing to put this top coat down here? I feel like it did preserve because uh, I'm looking down at the bottom parts of them now like a week later, but I feel like it preserved it pretty good. I maybe should have done it after though. I don't know. I don't know, girls. I'm just out here doing my thing, you know. Just living my life. Poorly. <laughs> so I cured that. And then um, I'm not going to talk you through me doing the other hand, but I am going to let you watch me work. And I'm going to give you guys some music to listen to while I'm doing that. And then I will come back and talk to you about the style that I chose for this week's look. It was inspired by my philodendron pink princess. So I'll catch you guys back in a few seconds. Side note, uh, the music's not free and neither am I. So support a bitch and subscribe. Shut there, glued to the screen. I'm looking for something that I don't really need. Uh, like a new rice cooker or a bed machine. But when I got everything, my fingertips, the only thing I need can't be bought like this. Just looking for a little happiness. But the sun keeps rising. life out there on the other side.
I hope you enjoyed that. That was Ready for More by the Yatones. <laughs> At this point in, and no shit, that really was Ready for More by the Yatones if you're interested. Um, so at this point, I do very super duper duper minimal filing. Like I'm just straightening up the edges. I forgot to uh, file down the cuticle area on this set because, you know, God forbid I remember everything at once. Um, but yeah, it's it's super minimal. Like some people are really, really, really clean up their shape when they use tips like this, but I think the shape looks good. I'm not mad about it, you know what I mean? I'm not mad about it. I'm feeding Winston and myself a treat so that he's not snoring right now in the background. This is my new tactic to try to keep it copacetic so that you guys <laughs> don't hear him snoring the whole time I'm doing a voiceover because I know that there was some of it earlier, but I'm sorry about it. I'm, I'm becoming more aware, hyper aware of him being so noisy while I'm filming, but y'all, it's just a way of life. He is a noisy boy. So I think that set looks really good. Straight, straight out, straight out, damn Rachel, straight out of the package. Minimal filing, okay? I thought it looked good. So I went over it with a buffer, but I didn't do that in frame either. Um, just to kind of buff them out and get the surface all ready to do stuff. These are the cute little golden decals that I ordered off of Amazon. I will have them linked down below. There's like palm trees and money symbols and uh, maple leaves and flames and unicorns and crowns. It was such a cute little package. I think it was only like nine bucks or something. It, it'll do a ton of sets too. Cause you know, I layered my nails up and I still had tons left over. And then I have that transfer foil and it's just a bunch of floral designs. And here's the box that it came out of. Winston. There's lots of stuff like sunflowers and blue flowers. It was basically like color coded, purple, yellow, blue. So it's a love hate relationship with me and transfer foils. But um, I wanted to use the color temptation. I knew that from the swatching from the get go swatch. Um, I wanted to do some glass tip type designs, but I just kind of was winging it. And I don't think I don't think it came out that bad, but I like going into a design kind of knowing what I want to do. I didn't really know what I wanted to do on this one, short of like glass tips. So I knew I also wanted to incorporate the floral pattern into the glass tip, um, but was like super anxious about the whole piece of foil not transferring over because if you guys know how that shit is, it sucks. I mean, every once in a while you'll get a good pull and you'll get a really good relief left, but for the most part, they're just kind of tragic. Um, and with it being like a, a glass design, I was tripping because I was like, it's gonna be really visible if it's super tragic. And I'm not one of those people who has a huge collection of gel polishes. I have a very limited collection of gel polishes because like I said, most of my, uh, my jam has so far been in encapsulating things. So um, I don't have a huge range of gel polishes to like set out a palette and be like, okay, I'm gonna fix this design. Um, anyways, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna take this brush dipped in my alcohol and I'm creating a slanted French tip. I don't know what you would wanna call that. I wanted it to be more extreme in that, I think. After the fact, when I looked at my finished product, I should have done the, the slant more extreme because it, it's, it's not as noticeable as I wanted to be after the fact. So I should have went a little more intense, but it was a clean cut and it took uh, two coats to get a really good design here. And then I just cleaned up the excess after I cooked it. Cook the first coat and then, you know, wrap back in with the second coat and then just follow that same line that you've already made for yourself there. And then I went in like right after that with some top coat to try to level off the nail. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't want it to be um, a step off, right? From the gel polish to the, the sensation of the, the glass bottom. 
do you know what I mean? Winston just got back up on the bed. So from here on out, I'm out of treats, you guys. I can already hear him back there. Jeez, it doesn't take him long to settle in, does it? It's such a beautiful color. I was just really pleased with it. You can see like the Marquardt uh, brush, the crystal brush on the, to the right of my hand. It's like that same baby type pink, but this um, nail addict uh, gel polish is like a neon version of that. It's so hard to explain. But anyways, here's some things like I'm going to speed through the rest of the process of kind of me doing the polishes and applying stickers and things like that because that's all that it is. It's literally painting um, and doing top coat and applying stickers and some transfer foils. Um, but I'm not very good at it, so no need for me to give you a tutorial or anything on it. But final thoughts for this nail look were, next time I'm going to try to cut out the image on the transfer foil, lay it inside the nail on top of poly gel. You know what I mean? Like put down, flip the, flip the soft gel nail over to where it's concave, put a layer of base coat down and then stick the face of the transfer foil image that you're wanting to encapsulate face up and nothing should happen to that image. Now, the only problem I could foresee with doing that would be doing it up towards the nail bed and it not curing, like whatever you're putting underneath that not curing because the image would be opaque and you, the light wouldn't go through it. But I think if you kept it towards the tips of the nails, um, then it would be a lot easier to just flip the nail over and get the cure like that. So that's definitely what I'm gonna be trying next time. I didn't have that idea until after the fact, of course, because you know, hindsight's 2020, but they didn't come out super bad. I tried to doctor them up. Okay, so this is me adding a layer, I think, of top coat. <laughs> I should have done matte. Okay, so here's another reason why my transfers didn't stick very well. Um, they didn't have a very good surface to stick to. I don't think I should have used top coat, perhaps, maybe, to stick them on. I'm not sure. I'm just experimenting, you guys. I just knew that I didn't want there to be like a shelf of color right there. So I was filling in, I did two coats of that top coat to match the two coats of the pink, just to make it all, you know, sassy and classy. And I knew that after that, it was just gonna be stickers and um, whatever, you know what I mean? So there is the nail art foil glue. And I have to say, it is the best nail art foil glue like that's the best it's gonna get it's good glue i like mark art nail foil glue but it's just it's you're asking for a miracle to be performed it's just not gonna get performed so this is me cutting out the specific design that i wanted i wish that i would have left myself more room on the foil because in order to really hold that image on there while you're trying to rub it onto your nail. If you don't have a wider piece of foil, like what was I thinking? Like a teeny piece of foil like that. Like you need a wider piece of foil really. I don't know. It's just, it was a whole struggle, but I liked how the end product came out. I thought it was a really cute nail look. Um, I don't have an Instagram account for this channel yet, but I kind of need to start one. Y'all know, if you've, if you've come to this channel from the other channel, then you know how I feel about like taking images of myself, like I'm working on it. But I mean, if I have an Instagram for this channel, it's gonna be, you know, like selfies and like outfits of the days and stuff like that. And I want to do stuff like that. I just have anxiety around it. You know what I mean? So I'm working on it. <laughs> I already actually reserved, like I started the Instagram account already. It's Rachel So Called Life. I don't even have an image up yet but I have it. I have the Instagram name. Um, so, you know, I guess I need to post this nail look on there and uh, a lot of other stuff too, because the plant people don't want to be bombarded by this shit. You know, this is not houseplant shit. So get her done. I got to get on it. But anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this nail look today. Thank you so much to Nail Addict for sending me some really, really amazing polishes. And I hope you guys enjoyed the finished product. If you liked today's video, if you enjoyed hanging out with me, um, if you enjoyed some soothing conversation, be sure and leave this video a like on your way out and subscribe. 
We love you guys. Bye.